is Northwest Public Broadcasting Weekly News Now. I'm Tracy Dial. Thanks so much for joining us. What was known as the King Road House in Moscow, Idaho, is gone. Crews demolished the house where four University of Idaho students were killed in the fall of 2022. The demo happened over the winter break on campus, more than a year after the deaths of Ethan Chapin, Santa Cronodal, Kaylee Gonsalves, and Madison Mogan. The Federal Bureau of Investigations was at the house just off of the U of I campus last month, getting pictures and scans of the house before crews tore it down. Investigators say those images are for the trial of the man accused of the four murders, Brian Koberger. A trial date in Lataw County District Court has not yet been set. Permits to hunt black bears in Washington will be available this spring, but only for commercial timber owners, and only if they prove a bear has damaged their trees. The Washington Fish and Wildlife Commission approved this new permitting system with a six to three vote. Spring hunts were paused two years ago after outcry from animal rights groups. The hunts are still allowed in both Oregon and Idaho. To get a permit, property owners have to turn in pictures and GPS data of the damage. Fish and wildlife staff say they don't expect more bears to be killed with this permitting system. In 2022, the department director issued about 60 permits and staff say of those, only six bears were killed. The commission is asking for a review of the program at the end of the year. Well, all of Santa's reindeer are now on vacation after their one big night of the year. It turns out some reindeer actually live in Goldendale at the Goldendale Reindeer Farm on the Washington side of the Columbia River Gorge. A couple whose day jobs are at a local hospital, they run the reindeer farm, they let people come visit the animals, and Santa Claus himself even stops by once in a while on weekends in December. There are nine reindeer at the South Central Washington farm. Ironically, the same number as Santa has. However, owners Tanya Clark and Daniel Connell say they're hoping to grow their herd this year. For more information on all of these stories, like where exactly that reindeer farm is and when you can visit, go to our website, that is nwpb.org. There you'll find in-depth articles with linked audio stories, along with videos, pictures, resource links, and so much more. I'm Tracy Dial with your NWPB Weekly News Now. You can find episodes on our YouTube channel every week. Just search Northwest Public Broadcasting. 